And we can now take this model as well and look at the entirety of the Spencer's Bridge Gold Belt. Um, this is sort of a revisit of the map that we looked at earlier on. And I think the main takeaway here is that we see um, low sulfidation epithermal gold mineralization along at least a 75 kilometer strike extent of this belt on our properties, extending from Skunka um, all the way down onto, uh, onto uh, Shovel Nose and including our, our PV or our Prospect Valley property. Um, this is a belt scale opportunity. Um, we uh, have no shortage, a, a set of ideas on Shovel Nose itself of areas to drill, but we also want to get drills onto our other properties. And when we look at the other three properties at Skunka North, um, we highlight stream silt sampling that's been done by West Haven, um, seeing exceptionally high and highly anomalous gold values in stream silts that compare very well to shovel nose and kind of how shovel nose started in the first place. I mean, we're pointing out the shovel nose stream silt of, of just under 2000 PPB. But I, I mean, I would point out that when the original claims at shovel nose were staked, they were staked on a on a stream silt anomaly. I think it was about 68 ppb in a, in a government database, and that's what ultimately led to the discovery of the South Zone and FMN and Franz is following up those sorts of stream anomalies.